smart lock startup Latch began trading Monday through a SPAC listing that raised $453 million and values the company at over $1.5 billion. The shares, issued through a special purpose acquisition vehicle run by Tishman Spire Properties, rose 4% on the first day of trading. Using the Tishman Spire portfolio as an incubator for new ideas and new products. Dot was really just too good to pass up says Latch's co-founder and CEO, Luke Schoenfelder, who made the Forbes Under 30 list in 2018. Latch, which had revenue of just $18 million last year, was founded in 2013 and is best known for its smart locks, which can be unlocked with a smartphone. Schoenfelder, 32, and his co-founders stumbled on the concept after trying to solve a simpler problem, how do you run out of orange juice in the morning and have a fresh carton delivered directly into your refrigerator at the end of the day? Latch's CFO Garth Mitchell told Forbes earlier this year. The team realized that property access was the first hurdle to executing that concept, and soon homed in on the smart lock market. They targeted residential properties at the outset, since the potential to scale was so much higher than commercial businesses. Latch was valued at more than $400 million after its Series B round raised $126 million in 2019, when one in 10 new multifamily projects across the US utilized its technology. The company says it will use the new funding to expand into Europe and grow new business segments in the commercial space. A year ago, when offices shuttered and renters fled from major cities, things looked far more grim. We had to make some tough choices in the spring to bring our burn down, Mitchell says. Now rental demand is rebounding in many urban areas and commercial landlords are eyeing the return of workers to offices, while new safety protocols have made contactless entry systems more appealing. Latch launched Visitor Express, a contactless system for offices, in early 2021. Overall it says its products have been purchased or reserved in over 300,000 units across the country, mainly residential. Revenue has risen from under $15 million in 2019 to $18 million last year, according to public filings, but losses have also swelled, from $50 million to $66 million. The company followed many of its peers to market through a SPAC listing, which allows firms to skirt the scrutiny of a traditional initial public offering, including wading through some regulatory requirements and conducting roadshows that allow potential investors to question executives about opportunities and risks. SPACs provide a faster way to market by taking a publicly traded shell company, the SPAC, and merging it with a target business like Latch. Investors in the shell company generally take large fees, creating a no-lose opportunity for many of their backers and a much riskier scenario for less sophisticated retail investors who are drawn to the hype.